so I don't know if that dog will show its head again, but just called animal control for this lady that left her dog in his car. And it's 74 degrees outside, so that means if after a half an hour from what I've seen online, it'll get up to like 100, 104 degrees inside the car, even, I think even with the windows cracked. So I guess we shall see what happens, whether the lady will come back before animal control gets here or if animal control will get here before uh, she gets back to her car. So I guess we shall see. I have a feeling that she'll get back though before animal control gets here. So yeah, I guess we'll see. I was hoping the dog would rear its head up. I think usually when the, the dog hears somebody walking by or something, that it pokes up to see if its owner is coming back. So I guess we'll see what happens. There's the dog, you can kind of see it. Poked its head up so it can see a person walking by. But it was panting just a moment ago. Uh, it actually is still panting. Sorry for the shaking camera. My hands are uh, not very steady. I can never be a surgeon. I was hoping I can show it panting again but it's not looking this way you can kind of see it yeah panting for sure i guess to also be fair i will say that the owner did leave a cup of ice water open in the car i guess in front of the dog to drink out of so there's that but it's still it's it's sad i mean you can you can see this poor dog panting and it's been panting like the whole time. Well, at least since I've actually started paying more attention to it. So I just wanted to give a quick PSA, FYI, whatever you want to call it with my double chin this. Anyways, I want to call attention to all the people that leave their car, their cars, their dogs in their cars in hot summer weather. Um, like I was showing about that little dog in a car. I had actually called uh, animal control. Unfortunately, they did not make it in time before the lady made it back, but that dog was in that car for almost an hour. And it was 73, 74 degrees outside while the dog was in a car. Now, for your information, public service announcement, when temperatures outside are around 70 degrees, the inside of a car can heat up to about 104 degrees in 30 minutes and it heats up to like 83 degrees or something like that in 10 minutes. At 90 degrees, it can heat up to 130 degrees, I believe, in 30 minutes, which is crazy. I mean, imagine being stuck in a car in 100, it, at minimum, like 70 degrees, in 104 degrees, cooking in a car. And on top of that, you have fur all over yourself. You, you know, you, <laughs> It's not just your skin, you're able to sweat and stuff. Imagine a dog in fur that can't sweat being in a car at 104 degrees. Please do not leave your dogs in the cars. I'm not sure how many people actually watch this, but do not leave your dogs in cars, especially if I see it because I will call it animal control. That's inhumane, that's dangerous. Your dog can suffer really serious health issues and health conditions from being left in a car at that kind of temperature for very long. So just a PSA, FYI, do not leave your dogs in a car. Even if it's the windows are cracked, it does not help much. You, you'll probably lose like a degree or two with the windows cracked. Even if you crack the windows, do not leave dogs in a car in 70 degree plus weather. It just, it doesn't work. Also, it's not recommended to leave your dog in a car with the AC running because there was a story somewhere, I can't remember where, where a dog accidentally put the car in drive and they drove the car, the dog drove the car into something or somebody. I don't remember the story exactly. So even doing that, it's not recommended. I think for Tesla owners, you might get a pass because I'm pretty sure there's a dog mode for Teslas where the dog can't drive the car, but the AC will be running. So I'll give you guys a pass. Otherwise, do not leave your dogs in a car. I will be amongst the many people that will call animal control. Unfortunately, that lady did get away with it this time, and hopefully <laughs> that dog will be okay in the future. So here's to that.